You can't compare two martial arts, it's what they say many times, but we can. Look, martial arts, fighting, is not just a made up illusionary idea like soccer, football, basketball. It's an expression of the innate nature of human. It's fighting. We are not comparing like a footballer to a high jumper. We are comparing one man to another man. And we are asking the age-old question that existed before martial arts was even a word. We are asking who would win in a fight. That's it. You don't even need martial arts for that. You could just take two drunkards and they're gonna start fighting. How many times? Most of the fights happening in human are people who have never trained a day of martial arts in their entire lives. And they're just fighting. Probably they're angry. Probably they're drunk or on drugs. It doesn't take much to get the idea. And it's a very legit idea to ask who would win? Tyson Fury or whomsoever, Joe Biden, Michael Jordan, whoever, doesn't matter. It's a legit question that can be, a can be asked and can be answered. I think every other comparison also is legit. You can also ask who's the better soccer player, me or Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously it's Cristiano Ronaldo. But most of the times that doesn't bear any kind of a relation to our, <coughs> sorry, to our lives. But people are so enraged by that question because they know, they feel in their hearts that it has some, mm, it is important for their lives. Uh, important is maybe too big of a word. I'm missing the English word for that. Um, I don't care. It is of some value in their lives. The idea of who is stronger in a fight has influence on how we behave towards somebody else. Their social status, their social power, and also their physical status and physical power has influence. There's numerous studies being done on that. So we know it matters in your life, it matters in my life, it matters in anybody's life. How strong you are it has an influence on the way that you perceive the world. The world is very different if you're two meters tall and 120 kilograms than if you're one meter 60 and 50 kilograms. The world is very different if you're a professional boxing world champion than if you are somebody who could not defend their own life. It's different. It makes you have a different outlook on life and on people. It's very, very, very important. And if we want to make the most honest and most um, relevant comparison toward of two humans, then the comparison is always what would happen? Them two, toe to toe, who would win? Nothing else, you know? No objects, but also no rules. Except if you give up, you lose. If you cannot continue fighting, you lose. That's it. That is the most important question of fighting of martial arts. And all martial arts want to improve your chances in that kind of fighting. They do it in different ways and we created different surrogates for that question. We created boxing fights to have people find out who is stronger without destroying themselves too much. We invented wrestling fights for the very same reason. Well, it's the exact same reason. We just want to find out, okay, okay, you just put me on my back, you did not kill me, but I now realize that probably if you wanted, you could also maul me any way you want to. So it answers that question without somebody getting hurt. That is the ultimate question of martial arts. And you have to face that question as a martial artist. You have to. And any combat sports athlete is a martial artist. Combat sport is a specific, most relevant expression of the martial art. The most real most honest expression of the martial art that exists. And martial arts is, as we know, one of the most honest expression of human nature. So, what can I say? It is relevant. Who would win, Khabib or Tyson? Street fight, no rules.